And if you believe it and accept it, as you are told the people of Israel did, choose this day whom you will serve. For for myself and my household, we choose the Lord. Now you choose. And they said, we choose the Lord. Now you are witnesses against yourself. You can't pass the buck from now on and say, he is against me. You've chosen the Lord as the only Lord. Therefore, you are witnesses against yourself. So tomorrow, something doesn't go as it ought to go, as you think it ought to go. And then you look around for some scapegoat, and you think, well, now he is doing it, she is doing it, they're doing it. And the minute you begin to say, they're doing it, you've forgotten your choice. For your choice was, I will serve the God of Israel, and only the God of Israel, and you're willing to take this God as the only God. Don't turn to any other God if you are faithful to the God of Israel. So when Joshua asked the question, and the word Joshua is the Hebraic word for Jesus. It was Joshua who led the people across the river into the promised land. Moses couldn't do it. He's buried in men as that power. Joshua comes out and does it. Joshua is your own wonderful I am this. It's spelled just like Jehovah with a shin iron at the end of it for many marvelous reasons. If I take the name Yod He Vav He and analyze it for you, Yod is a hand, a creative hand. He is a window, the eye of the body. Vav is a nail. And the last one is a He. What I see internally, the first hay, I will now so feel it, I will externalize it in my world. That's the yod a vav hay. In the word Jesus or Joshua, the same word, it's yod hay vav, the same first three, but then shin iron. Shin is a tooth as a symbol, and iron is an eye. The truth is that if I bring something into my world and I don't like it, I must have the power to destroy it or change it. If I have to live with all of my creations and I created when I didn't know better and I must live with them, I am living in hell. So a shin is inserted into the name of the savior of the world where he brings it in, it's not as he wanted it to be, he can consume it. It's a fire, a three-pronged fire called a tooth. For the tooth is a symbol of that which crushes and consumes. It also is a flame. So the flame burns it and destroys it that I may rebuild it into a better shape. So here we have this yod he vav the name of Joshua, the name of Jesus. The same letters, yod he vav Hey, in the name of Jehovah, which is I am. That's all that it means.